What's up guys, this is Crook for Money bringing you a Chetty tutorial. Click on this motherfucking jar file right here. Open this shit up. Alright, first things you'll notice is that there is an EN at the top, which means my chat is in English only. In the broadcasting settings, you can see you can change your dashboard settings inside Chatty. Real easily, you can just search for the game, you can change the title and all that, update it real quick. You can have Franker Phase Z, emotes, they're all available, you can click on them, real easy to access, and whatnot. Twitch emotes, BBTV emotes, all that good stuff. You can favorite your favorite emotes and all that. Go into the channels, you can see the favorites, you can select favorites and all that. And go into the live channels, you can see all the channels that are live, you could easily right click and join any of these channels at any time. The list updates by itself, so you don't have to worry about that. You can change the fonts, you can change the size of the fonts to whatever you want, or whatever works, I mean I'm sure not all the fonts work. Messages, you can do strike through so you can see the messages even when they get deleted. You can see the full message when it gets deleted as well if you want. There's emotes, you can select all the emotes that you want to see, all the emotes that are available and all that. You can change the color, you can make it um, stock chatty or you can make it like systematic chatty. So it'll be in like a Windows 10 window rather than like some really old school window type thing. Right there I'm kind of messing up. Uh, changing the preset you're actually supposed to load the preset you could change the any of these colors to whatever you want so you see that there's the default preset that's what you get when you open chatty for the first time pretty much then there's dark 2 makes it black and yellow and then my personal favorite is dark and it makes the chat look like that so it looks really good in my opinion you can change it to whatever you like, of course. You can see people's log files as well. Anytime you're in a chat, it logs however much of the chat. So you can like go back and see uh, people's chat activity just based on you being in there. It only works when you're in the chat, of course. So you can go back and log back what you said or what other people said. And sometimes it's useful. So, yeah, I'm just like going through all the chats that I've been through, showing that it works on like every channel you enter. As a side note, I put this in the downloads folder, so you could put this wherever you want. It works. Um, there's the whisper functionality, experimental. Sometimes it doesn't always work, you don't always get the whispers, but it usually works. You have to check that and select the server and all that for it to actually work. You can send whispers as well, you can ignore whispers and all that. There's a whole command list in the about section or whatever. In the help section of the window. But yeah, it's basically the chatty tutorial if anyone wants to check it out. It's really good. It's... I recommend it. But yeah, that's pretty much the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like it. Peace.